Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see who or what is coming to you in love. What is coming to Sagittarius in love? What do we have, please? Sagittarius, you have take a step back, date night, unspoken truth, and holding back is in the reverse. Okay. You also have make the effort at the bottom of the deck. Who's coming to Sagittarius in love? What's coming to Sagittarius in love? Okay, so Sagittarius, you may be dealing with a Cancer. We do have um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I mean, we basically have almost all the all the elements here except for Earth. So the person could be um, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck for reverse. So I feel Sagittarius that whoever this person is. They could be a new person or obviously someone you know. Please understand this is a general reading. So um, I don't know who is new to you, who is not. I don't know you personally, okay? Um, but at the heart of spread, we have the Ace of Cups. Now, next to that is the Five of Swords, okay? There's a big block between you and this person or there will be. Um, I feel like, you know, something's really blocking this connection. Um, and what's blocking this connection is the fact that whoever you're dealing with is still interested in keeping their options open or playing the field. That's what I feel. Someone in this situation still has a desire to look out there to find something else. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean um, to find love, although it can for some of you, especially in, re in relationships, somebody could be looking to move forward with their life, you know, and to find new love and get the heck on away from this connection or from someone in particular. Someone could be wanting to leave somebody else, okay, for relationships, all right? Um, so you, that's definitely a red flag, you know, um, So if you're in this energy of not knowing what this person wants from you, say for instance, you're in a relationship, you don't know what they want, you're kind of in the dark, you're like, this person treats me like crap, it's probably because they want to play the field or they want to leave, you know, probably both, okay? Um, someone could be afraid to take a leap of faith though. Someone could be afraid to leave someone that they know is not good for them anymore. Um, and new love could surely be on the horizon. Um, sad, especially if you're trying to get away from this person. But what's keeping you stuck is being with this freak who's no good for you. Okay. Um, I'm a, I feel like someone is in the energy of knowing that they can do better. Okay. You need to understand that you can do better than this freak. If they're treating you like this, treating you like being selfish, this could even be verbal abuse, whatever it is. Got to get far away from that freak. Okay. Um, now, if this is not dealing with a relationship and it's not necessarily a third party, I feel like um, this person, someone in the situation, at the end of the day, they're not really ready to commit. They're not really ready to take anything seriously. What they really are is a player, okay? They like to keep their options open. They like to mess around, okay? They like the, what is it, the conquest? You know, the feeling of getting somebody in bed or whatever. Once they do that, okay, I want nothing to do with you anymore. That type of deal. Um, so it just depends on what your situation is and how you um, apply this to your situation. What is a chariot reverse? I'm getting that there probably could definitely be someone way better either around you or coming Sagittarius 
or you could be the other person in this person's life if they're involved or whatever and uh they don't want to be with that freak anymore <laughs> okay but someone is probably even blocking themselves because they have yet to make a major decision you know you got to make that decision okay um what is it through a swords reverse The Two of Cups, the Empress Reverse, the Fool. I feel like someone's not getting the love that they deserve. They're not being treated properly. They're not. And maybe they have found someone else that can treat them properly and love them the right way. But too scared to scared of change, scared of taking a risk. Yeah, that could be there. Okay. Um, but someone's not being treated properly and they keep getting hurt over and over again by somebody who just, like I said, probably a player doing their own thing here and not really taking the relationship seriously, not really taking commitment seriously, okay? Five of Swords for Sagittarius. Um, and for those of you Sagittarius, this person could be coming towards you with the King of Wands if you're you know haven't been in contact they, they definitely could be coming towards you and they will try to pursue you uh, i don't know, take you out whatever but just understand you know and they could even love bomb you but i feel like this person has bad intentions they don't have the right intention i feel like it's like an ulterior motive you know just to kind of bed you say that they got you again and then boom they're out of your life or they treat you like crap again so just be very careful whoever this freak is could be a narcissist okay <laughs> Sav, do you see their hair? I mean, come on. That's scary. Who would want to be around someone's hair like that? Okay? Three of Wands for Sagittarius. Someone's, in, you know, sitting in an unstable connection, a connection that's absolutely not going anywhere. It's a dead end. There's a lack of commitment. You know, you got to get to the point to where you have to understand that you deserve better than that. You know, someone could be keeping their self stuck by dealing with this freak. When the fact of the matter is, there probably is new love that's all the, that's around someone or that's going to be around somebody in the future. So this freak could say that they've changed for a minute and then go back to their old behavior. King of Wands is actually Leo, so. What does this King of Wands want? This King of Wands wants control. They want you codependent on them or they could be codependent, okay? They wanna keep you stuck. They don't want to treat you right, but they don't want you to leave them either. That's what I'm feeling. Someone doesn't want to treat someone right, but they don't want them to leave them alone either. You know, life is short. That's what, you know, this is all coming out. Knight of Wands. What is this Ace of Cups for Sag? I feel like you may already know what this person's doing. Okay, you may already know intuitively what they're doing. They're love bombing you. Okay. You probably already know this. And that's typically what narcissists do, you know. They will love bomb you and say all kinds of things to get you to fall into their web. And then once they have you wrapped in their web, they eat you alive. Just know that this freak does not, they're, they're not going to fulfill these promises that they're telling you. Um, I don't care what game they talk you got to watch their actions. And I'm pretty sure this freak is going to go back to that. So Sagittarius, <laughs> knowing what you know now, whoever this King of Wands is could definitely be a Leo, does not have to be. Um, this King of Wands character is a no, 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 no. Okay, so whether you're in a relationship with this freak, someone who's acting like this towards you, mean, abusive, player liar love bomb i'm sorry do it again treat you like crap okay uh whoever's doing that stuff right here you gotta break off 
because the longer you stay with them, the more you're going to be miserable and keeping yourself stuck. Okay. And like I said, there could definitely be new love for you in the future or someone new around you that could, you know, treat you much better than whoever the hell this person is, this character is. Okay. I feel like this person just wants to be able to say that they got you. That's all that it's about. But you got to set those firm boundaries with this freak. More Leo energy. Yep. That's what they're doing. So if you can think of someone that the relationship has been very hard, very difficult, um, you know, this freak is just, yeah, it's, you got to set boundaries with this person and completely put this, um, stop this person dead in their tracks. Could be a Scorpio. I'm getting that someone really wants to keep you stuck, Sag. They want to keep you around, but don't want to treat you right. Rejection. This uh, rejection is actually divine protection. You have radical acceptance and surrender can help you to let go. Okay, what else do we have for Sagittarius? You have children. Maybe you have children with them and it's hard to leave, but you got to do what's best for your children. Your, your children want, wouldn't want you around this freak. Intuition, you already know the answer that you seek. S support, lean on your inner circle during this time. Some of you are going to need real support to get away from this freak. But they want you to know that you're protected. Whenever Whatever move, you're trying to physically move away if you live together or whatever, you will be okay. You will be just fine. And it's also saying, warning, do not dismiss these red flags. All right, Sag, we have in denial. Watching your every move. I'm getting this freak could be really possessive. Okay. They don't want to see you with anyone else. Childhood trauma. Playing games. Time to heal. Okay. They find you very attractive and beautiful. Okay. They're not ready to change. Insecure, low self-esteem. What else do we have, please? We have Aquarius, waste of your time. What else do we have? And the thing about it is this freak knows that you're out of their league anyway. They know that. They don't want to see you do better because they know you they they know you can. Um, infatuated. Catfishing. I only want to, you know, secretly married, living a double life. Okay. All right, Sag. So that is what we got. Don't let this freak force you into doing anything, okay? Because they probably could try to force you, or coerce you. Uh, what's the other word? They might try to even like uh, try their best to like exploit you and stuff like that to get what they want. And I'm getting that it's all about the chase for this freak. It's all about, you know, the conquest, being able to say they got you. And then once they got you, they treat you like crap. So they feel very possessive and stuff over you, but they don't want to treat you right. That's very interesting. Hmm. 
I'm getting some of you, you know, this freak wants you to chase them too, okay? So they could be playing games with you, wanting you to chase them while they have all their options open and all this extra crap. Just be careful with this person, okay? All right, uh, Sagittarius, look at this freak. <laughs> um, please be careful, my loves. They could lose it, really. Thank you for tuning in, and I will talk to you guys soon.